Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Build series in Minecraft. Now today I want to show you how to build this very very large mansion. As you can see it is a quite nice design and it is surprisingly very easy to build as well. So let me show you the interior. We got a full interior this time. Now let me show you. Right here we got a massive storage area followed with a library and a nice little area to relax and sit. We got a fireplace right here, followed with a kitchen. And upstairs we got four identical bedrooms. Now this is the hallway design and this is how the bedrooms look. Now the requirements, let's quickly go through that as well. It is actually everything you see right here. And this is actually the exact amount. The only thing which doesn't add up is this. You don't need 16 spruce doors. You only need eight and two dark oak doors for the entrance. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, once you got everything you need, let's get started. The first thing what we're going to do is we're going to outline the build. So place a strip dark oak wood right here and then add two spruce planks. Then you can go out seven blocks and I'm going to indicate the windows already. You can do the same. It's much easier for later on. Here we are going to have the entrance. Then you want to add again two spruce planks like this. And here we're going to have the entrance. So add two dark oak doors and repeat the same thing. Once you've done that, it should look like this. Now we're going to build the sides. For the sides, what you want to do is quite simple. You want to go out seven blocks again. So you're going to have the same window shape. Then you want to add the same separation again. Then you want to add one more row of planks. Here we go. So we have two windows on the sides as well. Now to go back, you want to do the same thing. And for this side, you can just repeat the same thing as this. The only difference is going to be that we are not going to have a door. Instead of the door, you just want to add spruce planks. Once you got the back and the left side in, what you want to do is go on this side and go up six blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This you just want to fill in. It's easy as that. Build this up. Then you can get the windows in. And all the windows are going to have the same design so it's quite easy to do it here we go and this is the basic shape for the sides for the entrance what you want to do is you want to add some stairs like this let's actually build this up first then add iron bars stairs and add some full blocks on top then you can get all the windows in. After that, we are going to add another floor on top. Once you got all these sides in, it should look like this. Now we are going to add another floor on top. The easiest way to do is just to go back right here and then go up six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then let's build this up. Okay. For the windows, what you want to do is quite simple. You want to add a row of full blocks. Then you want to indicate the same windows again. Okay, easy as that. Let's build this side up. Now for the entrance, you want to do something a little bit different. So let's get these up as well. Now the entrance looks like this for now. Then you want to add some stairs right here. Do the same thing here and once more on this side. Up here you just want to add some full blocks or some stairs. Doesn't matter. 
we will add some entrants as well but we'll leave that for later now you want to add the second floor in and after that we're going to decorate it all now next up we're going to decorate the windows and the sides let's start with the windows we want to add some dark oak stairs like this do the same thing over on the top then add stairs on the edge like this then you want to add some dark oak fences right on top followed with this one is going to be a little bit different you want to leave this open and build this up until this point then add some stairs again then you want to add some dark oak fences on the edge with some iron bars like this then for this side what you want to do is you want to add some trap doors like so then take some dark oak fences again and add it like this add a chain and get a lantern to the chain here we go then you can add slabs going across here we are going to add entrance so let's do that here we go this is going to go all the way up actually and that is going to be the basic design now we want to add some slabs followed with some trapdoors on top like this and then you can just repeat the same thing for the second floor and for these sides as well and obviously for the sides uh, one more thing you want to add some trap doors like this as well i forgot to mention that but you get the idea just repeat this for all of the sides and the back side as well and after that we're going to get the windows and the roof in and for the windows i'm going to use the white stained glass paint but you can use whatever you want to the entrance is going to look again a little bit different for the entrance what you want to do is you want to add some spruce fences like this and you only want to repeat uh, do this for the entrance okay you don't have to do this all the way around so now let's add fences like this then you want to add some entrance and go on the back side add some planks to cover it up and here we go this is how the entrance is going to look now i will finish all the windows and after that we are going to get the roof done now one thing i want to mention for the sides is that this one the pillar right in the middle you want to add all the way up with fences okay and these sides are going to look exactly like this for the back side you want to do the same thing the middle one is going to have fences all the way up once you got all these sides done it should look like this now it took me quite some time but it is worth it once it is done as you can see it looks pretty nice now for the roof what you want to do is quite simple first you want to add a row of spruce trapdoors going all the way around after that you want to add some deep slay brick stairs then you can add a row of foot blocks on the back side and then you can add another row on top so what i will do is i will go up six or seven rows and after that we are going to decorate the roof with some deep slay tiles as well once you are happy with the height of your roof as you can see this is seven rows what you want to do is take some deep slay tile stairs and you want to find these pillars okay and change this up like that do the same thing over on this side 
this way we are going to add some more depth actually basically you just want to follow the strip dark oak wood and on top of this you want to add some slabs to cover it but once this is done it will look pretty nice so let me quickly finish this and show you how it looks and here we go it gives it some more depth some more color so which is nice now you can do the same thing over on the sides if you want uh, one more thing let's add one more row maybe above this row let's see how that looks yeah it, it looks much better so let's add one more extra row right here Okay, now I will fill the roof in with some deep slay. After that, we are going to decorate the interior a little bit. Now, what you want to do for the interior is you want to repeat the wooden pillars on the inside. So let's start with this. Okay, and you will get the idea. I will outline everything so that it's easier to see. Okay then you want to add the floor or actually replace the floor what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix this with some smooth stone and cobblestone and after that we are going to divide this in some more rooms and decorate the second floor as well once you got that what you want to do is you want to add the second floor now the second floor is going to start from here okay so let's add the second floor as well and after that we are going to divide this in separate rooms and we're going to add some decoration now the first thing what we are going to do is we need a staircase going up so let's make that right here somewhere in the middle it doesn't have to be exactly the same let's go in and out and make sure that it is not too close to the entrance this is fine then you can add some cobblestone stairs going up next up we are going to decorate the first floor now what i want to do is i want to make a fireplace so to do that let's add some stairs uh, let's actually use the deep slate brick ones then add some upside down stairs with some campfires and on the edge what you want to do is you want to add some trap doors going across so at this point then you can add some trap doors again like this and this should look just fine then add some fences right here let's add this as well just to decorate this a little bit more now if you want to you can change this up with some brick and we need some iron bars just like that okay then let's have the fences going up easy is that now I want to make a kitchen right on the left side of this so let's add black concrete like this then add two rows of black concrete like so oops uh, and you can even add shulker boxes if you want to but let me show you how simple this actually is let's add some buttons to decorate this underneath this you want to add some item trapdoors here you can add some carpets again okay now you can add some furnaces with some walls to indicate a chimney as easy as that 
here. What you want to do is add a row of blocks going up so that we can cover this actually. Then on this side, you want to have the fences again. And don't worry, once we light this all up, the bats will go away. Here we go. Here we're going to have some chests and over there as well. Just simply place it like this. Now for the last corner, what you want to do is you want to add some bookshelves. Next up, we're going to make a table and a place to sit actually. Let's make it like so. And then add some trap doors on the back side and on the edges. And let's have a table right here with some carpets i think that looks fine then on both ends what you want to do is add fences with some lanterns or even candles let's use a candle and let's go for the white candle okay here we go easy is that now let's move on to the second floor uh, we're going to make multiple rooms so first let's divide this in three separate areas let's have two rooms on these sides and two more on these sides i think that will look just fine to divide this, you just want to add some planks. Here we go. Let's do the same thing over on this side. And over these sides as well. Now we need to build this up and decorate it a little bit. So first of all, let's add the entrance. Let's have two doors. And you can build this up until this point built in and I will show you one room and all the others are going to look exactly the same now you can decide what to do with the roof if you want to you can just build this up or make another roof on top which is what I will do because we can then use all the rest as a storage room up here Okay, so let's get this done first then. And after that, we will continue working on the uh, individual rooms. Once you got the roof in, it should look like this. Now let's go back to the rooms. Here, what you want to do is you want to add some spruce stairs. And then take the dark oak stairs to decorate this underneath. Here, let's have spruce. Let's do the same over here. And on top, you want to add some dark oak. Okay, like that. Then you can add some fences again, like we did on the exterior, followed with two lanterns like this. Here, you can just leave it open and fill this in. And you want to fill the whole side in because we can then decorate this with some paintings and some, I don't know, some storage area or something like that. Once you are done with the bedrooms, it should look like this. As you can see, we got now four bedrooms. Now you can add some spruce doors. And after that, we're going to add and decorate each uh, room, but all the rooms are going to look actually exactly the same. So let's start with this one. Why not? The 
the first thing what we're going to do for each bedroom is we're going to add a row of dark oak wood right like this okay and then we're going to add the bed right here or maybe on this side but you want to have some dark oak on this side and on this side then for the bed you want to add two stairs like this then let's add one more wooden row actually then add some cyan beds on top followed with some trap doors on the back side you want to add a full block followed with two stairs like this then you can add a row of dark oak foot again on both sides one more on this side and this is going to be the bedroom then we still need to cover this up which is no problem add two stairs like this followed with some iron bars then you can add some stairs again do the same thing on the sides like this okay so this is bedroom number one for this side what you want to do is you want to add some barrels going up then add two more rows of dark oak food near the door this and then repeat the same thing as we did on the outside now you need some bookshelves and let's place that right here all the way up here you want to have full box and on this side you can just add some bookshelves once more here you want to just leave it open and as it is now if you want to decorate this a little bit more what you can do is adding some iron bars and on top here you can add some stairs again and i think that looks very nice okay uh, now if you want to you can add some dark oak slabs as well and now you can get all the rest of the bedrooms uh no wait let's fix this this doesn't look that nice so let's make this like so then add a row of dark oak stairs again with a stair going inwards then you can add some slabs okay i think that looks much better though and here we go that's going to be it and uh, now make sure that you get all the other bedrooms done as well and then you can add a painting right on this wall so now what i will do is i will get all the other bedrooms done and then we are going to decorate the entrance as well the last thing what we're going to do is we're going to build the entrance so to do that i will mix up some smooth stone with some cobblestone and then for these what you want to do is you want to dig down two blocks add a redstone block with some redstone lamps on top let's do the same thing over here and obviously you want to do this on this side and on the sides as well so let's not forget this one then once you are done with that what you want to do is you want to add some leaves now you can obviously extend this a little bit more then add some leaves like this and then you can even add some leaves like so okay then what you want to do is you want to add some flowers let's make a diagonal line actually doesn't matter then take some deep slate bricks and add that as well followed with some orchids or any other flower that you want to 
and here we go that is going to be it uh, for this episode and hopefully you enjoyed this one and if you did please leave a like and subscribe have a nice day and see you the next time